the biggest advantage is just getting information about your hotel out there. Uh, we spend over $1.7 billion on marketing right now, and we're operating in 70 countries. And the travel business is becoming more and more global than it ever has been. And whereas before, the travel agent was really the gatekeeper to the hotel and the gatekeeper to the consumer, uh, there is no gatekeeper anymore. The internet's the gatekeeper, it's totally open, and what we offer is the ability to get your information onto the web in a structured way so that consumers from all over the world can come and search for where they're going and you can offer the best face forward for your hotel to consumers literally from all over the world, whether from China or England or Hungary or the United States, we're that gateway. That's the opportunity for us, and we think it can create extraordinary opportunities for growth for everybody. The rate of change has been pretty extraordinary, and while we're leading the change, we're having some trouble keeping up as well. I'd say some of the changes that we've seen is, one is globalization is happening much faster than we expected. Uh, we started as a U.S. business, we wanted to get big in the U.S., but now, uh, you know, travel is one of the few cross-border, truly cross-border goods there are, right? Germans are buying in the U.S., U.S. are buying abroad, et cetera. So the globalization of the industry uh, is happening and is happening faster than ever. The rise of the Asia-Pacific consumer who wants to travel all over the world is happening faster than we ever expected. And now with broadband was the first big platform change. Now we're going undergoing a very major platform change in mobile. Uh, mobile bookers are different. Uh, they like to browse a bit, but they're last minute shoppers. They expect very, very fast service. Uh, they make fast decisions. And I think for the hotelier out there, uh, we've gone from real time to real time plus. You've got to, re you've got to respond incredibly quickly, and that's just a change of pace that we're getting used to, and I think hoteliers have to get used to too. Hoteliers have to make sure that they're present, uh, and often um, hoteliers are willing to compete for that consumer's eyeballs, and the competition means uh, great content, but also means great deals as well. Uh, we've seen mobile account for 60 to 70 percent now of same-day bookings. So it is big, uh, it's very, very easy. All of us are investing very aggressively in our mobile tools, so you can now search for and book a flight or a hotel in under 60 seconds. So you have to have the information out there, you have to make it very easy uh, for consumers to use with their fingertips. Um, consumers are getting spoiled as far as experiences out there. It's got to be really, really simple to use and beautiful. Uh, and then you do have to uh, drive real-time deals and availability to consumers because if you're not there, your competitor is going to be there. So everything is speeding up. Um, but we think it's an extraordinary opportunity for everybody. Well, we see the biggest opportunity in the Asia-Pacific region. Uh, you know, the funny thing about the Asia-Pacific region is Asia is a word, but if you look at Asia itself, if you look at the markets, China is completely different from Australia, which is totally different from Japan and Southeast Asia. So it's an incredibly challenging environment, uh, but you've got a billion travelers who are now in the middle class, and they want to discover the world. Cultures are incredibly different, so you can't serve all these travelers the same way. Um, you have to have local management who understands what's going on uh, on the ground. So the challenges are huge, but the rewards are enormous as well. Online travel has done a great job innovating for everybody, but we don't think that we've done a great job innovating for you. Every time that you come to an Expedia or Hotels.com, uh, we serve you as if you're the average c customer. Even when you're logged in, we don't really treat you differently. And a lot of sites, there are very few sites who really treat you differently between, uh, based on your own tastes and preferences. And we think that's the next leap that we have to make. We are a terrific service for every man, uh, but we're not a terrific service for one single particular person, that consumer. And we want to make that leap. Um, personalization. Uh, what are your favorites? Where do you like to go? There should be a different version of Expedia for every single consumer out there, and we haven't made that leap yet, and it's something that we're really working on. It, it's kind of a dumb principle, but it's not to think too hard as far as career path. You know, I've seen it, the world is moving much faster than it ever has. And as a company, 
the ability for us to predict what's around the corner has become much more limited because change is accelerating and change is happening much faster. And I think that applies to the individual as well. Whereas I'd say 10 years ago, it made sense for someone to have a five or 10 year career path. By the time year five comes, the world has changed. So as a company, we're trying to pivot much faster react much faster and I think as an individual you have to be able to pivot much faster and react much faster uh, and you have to be able to react to the now versus plan for 10 years ahead.